afternoon and welcome. Welcome to the 208th commencement of Tarleton State University. This is a magnificent day for the university as these graduates join the ranks of distinguished Tarleton alumni. To open this ceremony, the colors will be presented by the Texan Battalion Color Guard. The national anthem will be sung by senior music major, Ms. Channing Parker. She'll be accompanied by the Tarleton Wind Ensemble. Following the national anthem, the invocation will be given by Dr. Kyle McGregor, Vice President for the Division of Advancement and External Relations. Gentlemen, I ask that you please remove your caps and all who are able to please stand and remain standing for the posting of the colors, the singing of the national anthem, and the invocation. Please join me in the invocation. On this commencement day, while we have all traveled different paths to reach this milestone, today we are of one mind and one heart in giving thanks for these students and for all they will accomplish. As we reflect on all that has passed and all that is yet to come, we are mindful of the many people to whom we owe thanks. Families that encouraged education, teachers and mentors who shared their knowledge and experience, friends who provided support and helped make a lifetime of memories. We ask that these graduates reflect the core values of this university as they use their knowledge and skills to act with integrity, standing up for what is right, to serve and lead others with compassion, to foster a culture of civility, kindness, and inclusion to respect and shape traditions for our time, 
to set a standard of excellence and strive always to reach it. May the gratitude we feel today inspire each of us to bring even greater joy into our lives and the lives of others. Amen. Please be seated. Well, congratulations, graduates. This is a glorious day as we celebrate your achievements. Today is a milestone for you and for your family and your friends. You've worked hard, you've sacrificed, and I know many of you have dreamed of this day. These graduates have followed a lot of different paths to Wisdom Gym and to this very special occasion. Some of you came to Tarleton as students right out of high school. Some, maybe after raising a family, are serving in the military. Some transferred here from other institutions. But however your journey began, you have all finished together. You have earned your Tarleton degree and you joined the ranks of Tarleton alumni. Know this, we are very, very proud of you. Now while you may have been kind of laser focused on completing your degree, you have, may have missed a few things that have been happening around you. For example, American Idol has finally ended, <laughs> finally ended after 15 winners. Jeff Gordon retired after 93 NASCAR wins and Peyton Manning ended his NFL career with a Super Bowl, a Super Bowl win. And like them, you are ending this chapter of your life as winners. Other things may have happened while you were here too. Things like the iPhone went from the five to the six. Maybe for some of you from the four to the six. One Direction, well, it went, I guess you would say, the wrong direction from five singers to four singers. Over the last five years, there have been 54 episodes of Game of Thrones, 24 superhero movies, and more than 2,000 TED Talks posted on YouTube. Along the way, the university has changed too. We've had new facilities, new programs, and even new campuses. We welcome to the campus, welcome back to the campus, John Tarleton in the form of a remarkable statue on Alumni Island, and I trust many of you will have your picture taken with him this weekend. You put up with detours and dust, construction fences, and orange cones. Maybe more disruptive has been some wild weather that forced some closings of the, of the university. But, but, neither snow, rain, hail, flooding, and not even a tornado could keep you from completing your degrees. Members of this class have committed themselves to Tar Tarleton's core values of tradition, integrity, civility, leadership, excellence, and service. They have put those values into action throughout their college days. Excellence is well represented in the class of 2016. Jakob Damstra, a member of our basketball team and a biomedical science major, was the two-time 2015 and 2014 Lone Star Conference Academic Player of the Year, a first for a Tarleton athlete. Undergraduate research enriches student learning and is another form of excellence. Aldo Medina co-authored a paper with a faculty member on their research in hydrology and exhibited that work at a professional meeting in San Francisco. Rosalie Leon and Alejandra Ramirez developed and demonstrated leadership skills by mentoring at-risk young women through our BOLD program. The class of 2016 has given thousands and thousands of hours of service to the community and to the university. Over 6,000 students, faculty and staff volunteered for this year's Tarleton Roundup Day of Service and Day of Giving. Francesca Wesley Daniels was a Roundup volunteer and proud to be a part of a new Tarleton tradition, launching the ducks during homecoming. She has said that she will take with her the importance of integrity in nursing by keeping her promises to her patients. And Amanda Hudson, 
has spent every spring break and summer on a service trip. Her commitment to service is reflected in her choice of careers, nursing. We celebrate each and every one of you today. As you mo move on, know that you take a piece of Tarleton with you. Friends that will last a lifetime, a network of faculty and staff that will mentor you as you're called upon. Wonderful memories of your time at this university. And you take with you those core values. As educated men and women, as Tarleton graduates, much is expected of you. I ask you to be the difference. Be the difference in the lives of others, in your chosen careers, in your families, and in your communities. Live Tarleton's core values. They will provide a compass in a world that is both challenging and, ch and changing. Finally, on this special day, I offer you just a few more words of advice. For those of you who love your remotes and love your chairs, remember this. There is no remote in life. You need to get up and change something yourself. Pizza is not at the top of the food pyramid, <laughs> so eat healthy. It will matter later on. For those of you uh, looking for your first job, remember this, be on time. That's especially important at your first job. And don't start all your communications with a hashtag and end them with a string of emojis. <laughs> Practice the art of real communication. Leave the camera in your pocket and rem remember the moment in your heart. Keep wearing purple and white, that's an important one. And finally, say thank you. Say thank you every day, starting with the family and the friends who have helped bring you to this commencement day. On this Mother's Day weekend, we expand, extend a special thank you to the mothers and grandmothers who are with us this day. You have nurtured and encouraged, I expect prodded and prepared these graduates throughout their lives so that they can be both happy and successful. These graduates, clearly didn't get here alone. This day belongs to all of you, families and friends, and we congratulate and thank all of you. And so at this time, I would like to ask the mothers and the grandmothers, the fa fathers and grandfathers, family, friends, would you please stand, and graduates, would you give them a rousing round of applause to thank them for what they've done for you. <laughs> family and friends, please stand. Students, uh, let's try that again. You didn't look very sincere about that. <laughs> All right. Thank these folks for what they've done to bring you to this day. Let's hear it. <clears throat> That's more like it. Thank you. At this time, I would like to recognize members of the platform group. Would they please stand when introduced, but will you please hold your applause until all are standing. Dr. Karen Murray, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Laura Boren, Vice President for Student Life. Dr. Kyle McGregor, Vice President for Advancement and External Relations. Representing the College of Science and Technology, Dr. Arthur Lowe, Department Head, Department of Chemistry, Geosciences and Physics. Dr. Steve Steed, Dean, College of Business Administration. Dr. Jordan Barkley, Dean, College of Education. Dr. David Gruckhammer, Interim Dean, College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Dr. Barry Lambert, Dean, College of Graduate Studies. Dr. Jason Latouche, Assistant Dean, College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Lori Beatty, Assistant Vice President and Controller of Business Services. Dr. Javier Garza, Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Management. Janice Horrock, Assistant Vice President for Development. Dr. Keith Emmerich, Faculty Senate President-Elect. Becky Gray, Staff Council President, and Donna Strohmeyer, Chair of the Commencement Committee. Please join me in recognizing these outstanding Tarleton leaders. <clears throat> well, as was explained to you before the processional, some of our graduates are wearing colorful cords that represent high achievement and academic honor. Some graduates are wearing red, white, and blue cords representing achievement 
and honor of a different sort. They are veterans who we recognize today for their service to our nation. It is their sacrifice and that of their families that allows us to freely pursue life, liberty, happiness, and our education. I'd like to ask any veterans in the class and any veterans in the audience, would you please stand and allow us to thank you. Veterans, please stand. Lieutenant Colonel Marty Decker, please come forward along with the cadets who will be receiving their commissions today. Over the years, the sons and daughters of Tarleton have brought honor to this university through exemplary service to our nation, ensuring our freedom and the opportunity for all to pursue education. Tarleton has a long and proud association with the ROTC program dating back 100 years. During our commencement ceremonies this weekend, 15 graduates will be commissioned as officers into the United States Army. The oath of office will be administered today by Lieutenant Colonel Decker to Cadet David Brister, an industrial technology major from Glen Rose, Texas, Cadet May Burns, a nursing major from Granbury, and Cadet Miroslava Ortega, a biology, biology major from Capel. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, David Stanley Brister. I, May Burns. I, Miros Ortega. Having been appointed an officer. Having, having been, been appointed, appointed an officer. In the Army of the United States. In the Army of the United States. In the grade of second lieutenant. In the grade of second lieutenant. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies. That I bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservations. Without any mental reservations or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon the office which I'm about to enter. So help me God. Congratulations. Lieutenant Colonel Deckard, and congratulations to the newest second lieutenant, lieutenants in the United States Army. We thank you for your dedication and service to our country. Graduates, this is your day. It is you we are here to celebrate. For this reason, a member of the graduating class has been invited to address the, commence, the commencement audience. Today's speaker is Damon Heiss who has earned a degree in nursing. His path to this degree has been marked by a commitment to service, serving others in a variety of roles. Damon is a Navy veteran, serving as a paramedic and Navy hospital corpsman. After the Navy, he attended the University of North Texas, where he earned a degree in criminal justice and police science. Damon then served as a Granbury police officer for 11 years. With the support of his wife, Amanda, and their two children, ages eight and six, Damon has enthusiastically prepared for a new career in nursing. He intends to enter the Family Nurse Practitioner Program in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Damon Heiss to the podium. Good afternoon, President Ottavio, Provost Murray, faculty, staff, family, and friends. And good afternoon, fellow graduates. I am honored for the opportunity to address you on behalf of the class of 2016. I would like to say a few words about public service. One of Tarleton's core values is service to others. Woodrow Wilson, the 20th President of the United States, once said, 
You are not here merely to make a living. You are here in order to enable the world to live more amply, with greater vision, with a finer spirit of hope and achievement. You are here to enrich the world. And you impoverish yourself if you forget that, Aaron. Many of you have been in school most of your lives and are preparing to enter the workforce. I started at a community college directly after high school and did not have a clear direction. So instead of the college route, I went to paramedic school and then joined the Navy and became a hospital foreman. I finished my Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice and served as a grammar police officer for 11 years prior to starting nursing school, where I once patrolled the, sh patrolled the streets with a gun and badge to protect the citizens of my community. I now serve my community with a stethoscope and a syringe. Regardless of our life path today, we share that we am educated by teachers, instructors, and professors who dedicate themselves to shaping our lives to become future leaders, nurses, scientists, and many others who may serve our communities. They have provided us with the skills and knowledge to be in careers in our chosen fields and hopefully make our world a better place. I believe there is no better reward than making a career of service to your community. I know this because I have devoted myself to the service and well-being of others in my, both my chosen careers. We should use our knowledge we have gained through our education to do great things, to help improve the lives of the members of our communities, whether it be public service, developing technology, making discoveries, or starting a business that benefits our community. We should all strive to improve the well-being of others and the world around us. Now is the time to go out into the world and use your education to the fullest. Become innovators, leaders, scientists, and public servants. Let's make this world better for the generations to follow. Don't settle on mediocrity. Be the best you can be for the betterment of your communities. I may not have had the same college experience as most of you, but we all have endured through the writing of papers, the endless amount of reading, the exams, and all the other stressors involved with our college education. We should use those experiences to improve ourselves as we begin a new chapter in our lives entering our chosen career fields. And let us always remember the fun times as well, like our extracurricular activities and experiences away from our schoolwork. We have made many new friends we have shared this great experience with. We have endured a lot together, so try to keep in touch with each other and reminisce from time to time about our time here at Tarleton. Someday, when you're well into your careers of your own, you will look back on these days with fond memories. And to my fellow nursing graduates, you have made a very important decision in your lives when you decided to become a nurse. You decided to become public servants and dedicate yourselves to the, to the care and well-being of others. Now let's take our knowledge and experiences and go out and be the best nurses we can be. Don't ever stop learning and improving yourselves. As Florence Nightingale said, unless we are making progress in our nursing every year, every month, every week, take my word, we are going back. And it goes for everyone. Make it your goal to learn something new every day. Become lifelong learners, whether it be in your chosen careers or about the world around us. Always strive to improve yourselves. If you strive to become the best you can be, you will improve the world and the people around us. Now go out and put your mark on the world. Go and be the best you can be and strive to make the world a better place. Congratulations to Tarleton Class of 2016. Thank you. Damon, thank you for your service to our country and your continuing service to our community. At the heart of a Tarleton education is our distinguished faculty. Their scholarly work creates new knowledge that improves the lives of all of us. As teachers and scholars, they define Tarleton's excellence. The faculty have been partners with these graduates as teachers and mentors, challenging and supporting students as they have worked toward this day. From the Texan tour leaders who gave you the first look at our campus to the grounds crews that keep our campus beautiful and the team who organized our seven commencement ceremonies this weekend, hundreds of staff members have made Tarleton your home away from home and have helped you reach this day. Like your family and friends, our faculty and staff members take great pride in your graduation. They've devoted their professional careers to preparing you for success in your careers and in your communities. Will the representatives of the faculty and staff please stand so that we may recognize you. Now 
now we're to the most important part of the ceremony, the presentation of your degrees. I'd like to welcome to the podium Dr. Lowe to present and recommend the candidates for the associate and bachelor's degrees. Will the candidates for graduation with the bachelor's and associate degrees from the College of Science and Technology please rise? Provost Murray, Carl Sagan said, science is based on experiment, on a willingness to challenge old dogma, and on an openness to see the university universe as it really is. Louis Pasteur said, science and its applications are related to one another as the fruit is related to the tree that has borne it. Today's graduates from the College of Science and Technology span the spectrum from the natural to the applied sciences. While some will pursue careers planting the seeds of scientific discovery, others will endeavor to harvest the technological fruit. These are the scientists, mathematicians, teachers, technologists, nurses, engineers, chemists, geologists, physicists, other professionals, and leaders of the future. These graduates are prepared to be the innovative thinkers and problem solvers who will meet the challenges in the areas of natural sciences, health sciences, and engineering. They will create change and help us adapt to it while holding fast to our principles and values. I'm extremely proud to present these candidates for graduation from the College of Science and Technology. On behalf of the College of Science and Technology faculty, I certify they have met all requirements for this degree. President DeTavio, these students are candidates for the associate and baccalaureate degrees as prescribed by the faculty of Tarleton State University and the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System. As Chief Academic Officer, I present them to you with both personal pleasure and Tarleton pride. Graduates, by the authority vested in me as president of Tarleton State University, I confer the associates and bachelor's degrees upon those of you who have successfully met all requirements associated with those degrees. You now hold all honors, rights, and privileges belonging thereto. I charge you as educated men and women of the world to use your education in the service of others. Congratulations, graduates. Now you may be seated, and student marshals, will you please bring the graduates forward to receive their diplomas. <laughs> 